You're so annoying. They're called super predatory. What are you doing here? They're bringing crime. They're rapists. You're a piece of garbage. You're all you stupid. Know what? Nobody you we speak I'm English in America. Yeah. Uh, I don't like him on the fact that he's black. Because you're filthy, dirty. Because you're coming to this country and killing all these people that are right here. You don't know anything. You suck. Everyone hates you. I'm so tired of Where are you, you little cow? I hate you. I hate you. It's something that's just terrible and that people always get. It's probably an emotional experience that from other things like envy jealousy i think that hate is like more than just disliking something i think it's just like a really like strong passion to like be totally away from something and just like not wanting to be near it like not having a tolerance for it at all or anything like that I guess when I was probably in elementary, some people just made me mad and I just started kind of hating them, started not liking them. I learned about my sister, Regina. She was being very mean to me, so I learned how to like get used to it and to like make sure I give her the punishment. <laughs> so, yeah. I think we learned to hate, or what we think is hate, from other people, the way other people act. Some people probably just hate because they're jealous of someone else, or they did something to them. I think people hate because they haven't been taught to accept other people. Um, I mean, Sometimes people are just not exposed to other things, so therefore they're afraid, and hate comes from that um, feeling of scared. They're not really sure how to um, approach situations, so the best thing they know is to hate. Probably around like people at school, like when they usually are like talking about like their friends and stuff, and they can be like gossiping. I don't know, you just like experience it a lot at school, I feel like. So, um, I think that nowadays with technology, a lot of the hate comes from um, the media. The media has had a really big impact on hate because it's what we see every day. And I mean, hate is something that's like interesting to people for them to see, so that's what they show, especially with. Um, all the political campaigns, they want to show that, and what they show is the bad side of things, which is all the hate that's going on in the world. Um, I think it's okay. If you want to hate them, then that's on you. It doesn't really matter. I really don't think the hate is justified at all. I think that all of us probably go through some sort of hate. Maybe some people don't, but I think a lot of people do, and I don't think it's something that is okay. I think it's something that like everybody needs to work on because we all just like we find it a lot more easy to just like not like something or just like hate it than to like go and find things that we do like and things that we appreciate. Like it's so much easier nowadays for us to find things that like oh like I don't like that or I don't like that. Like we're not really focusing on like what's good anymore. So I think that it's something that we need to be working on, and I don't think it's something that we should be justifying because it's really like not okay. <laughs> I think people with power have a huge thing to do with hate because people look up to these people with power and they believe that they know everything when they don't. We shouldn't be getting and listening to these people because they're, they're kind of brainwashing us to believe that hate's okay, that we should be accepting of this hate that's going on in the world when in fact we shouldn't be hating and we shouldn't be listening to these people because they're making us believe that hate is how we should be living. I don't know about you, but I don't want hate in my future. Back.